but again, uh, today we're going to go over installing the pool cleaner. Uh, it's a pool vernugan by Hayward. Uh, there's a couple different versions of this. This is going to be the four wheel uh, suction side gray, and it's the it says the pool cleaner right on it. Uh, so first thing you're going to get this box. Um, this is the one you buy from the pool supply store. And you just open it up. You're going to have all your hoses. And then you are going to have your actual uh, clean head. Open that up. And this is a four wheel uh, gray. It comes with a medium size uh, vacuum hole on the bottom. Um, in your package that it comes with, it comes with an adapter for your skimmer. It comes with an adapter for your wall. You have a wall suction. And it also comes with two, two other um, adapters for the bottom for the size of suction hole on the bottom. And so we need to install our wall fitting. Which is, looks like that. It's called a vac lock fitting. And the way this works is um, it locks shut. So it's very difficult to open. Um, but it's to prevent kids from sticking their fingers in the, in the hole in the side of the wall when there's suction on it. It can be very dangerous. So this uh, prevents that. So when it shuts all the way, it locks and it's, and it's difficult to open. So you're going to want a screwdriver or something to um, open this up. You can use a knife or whatever and put in that little hole right there to open it up to put your hose in. And the way this works is you put the hose in, it just plugs right in, and this piece catches the hose to prevent it from popping out. So it's very important you have this vac lock fitting. If you have another type of a pool sweep without a vac lock fitting, um, just get, you can purchase these at any pool supply store. Okay, this is inch and a half threads, and so your wall fitting has to have inch and a half threads. The way this works is you're just going to put it in the wall and then thread it in. Make sure you don't have the pump on or suction coming through this, or it's going to be very difficult to open the lid. You want to get it as tight as you can. And then at that point, it's ready for you to install your hoses. Okay. Okay, this hose is in the, the only hose that's going to be different out of all your hoses. So this hose is the one that attaches to the actual unit. And then these are floats, so, this, so it keeps uh, the hose straight up and down up until this point and then at that point it can go you know back towards where it's attached that way um, the seat doesn't try to you know fall over on its side or anything okay so now I've got all the hoses together um, but I don't want to put too many hoses on so what I've done is I've plugged it into the back lock fitting and I've run it all the way to the very furthest point that this pool cleaner is going to operate. And I, can, I should be able to set it on the deck with a little bit of slack from the place where it connects. And that should be as much hose as I need. You sh I shouldn't need any more hose than that because that's enough to go all the way down to the bottom of the pool and then also reach that side of the pool. So on this particular um, one, I actually have four, four hoses left. But you want to save these hoses in case a uh, dog chews up your other hose or something happens. Um, these hoses are all interchangeable. And even if the worst case scenario that you have a problem with this uh, uh, hose that attaches to the head, you can also replace it with one of these hoses and it will work just fine. Okay, our pump um, for this setting um, on this particular pool, now your pool may be different and you may need to change up the setting. I've got it running at 2650 RPMs. I have the valve um, 
I would say two thirds of the way um, towards the cleaner and uh, one third to the skimmer. That seems to be getting it around pretty good. Um, so it can kind of go up the walls, drive around a little bit. If you need it to go up the walls higher, um, you can set it for a higher speed or you can turn the valve up. Um, and when it gets too, um, when it's too much, that's when it gets all the way up to the tile and it starts making a weird kind of a sucking noise. That means you need to either turn the speed down or turn the valve down. Anyway, thank you for watching my videos. Um, please subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comment box below. And uh, thanks for watching.